Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the dispersion effect, which is fairly simple, but sometimes it needs a little bit of practice. So let's get started. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel so that you get further updates. So the first thing is I need to take off the person from the background. So what I will do is I will use a magic wand tool and I will select the background. Pressing the shift key, I'm adding the selection. Now I select the background, so I'll just inverse the selection because I want to select the person so I copy I paste I'll delete the background now I will add a solid color I'll bring it to the back and name it background and I'll make a copy of this either control J or you can drag it to the new layer I'll name one as liquify and one as subject hide the subject select the liquify go to filters liquify select the first tool forward warp tool and pull the image out Just pull it random, there's no fixed uh, Once you're comfortable, press OK. Now you need to add a negative mask to liquify layer. So you press the Alt key and click on the mask icon on the layers panel. Now it's hidden into the layer, in the masking layer. Now activate the subject layer and add a normal mask. Now make sure you do not click on the picture on the layer but on the mask the white mask and make sure your foreground color is black now select the brush tool I have already loaded my brush I'll show you how to load the brush you assume that I have selected a, a normal brush initially so you just right click click this uh, I can load brush and I have put a link to download the particles brush so please download it and it will automatically load into the brush panel I'll just say load it so after it loads I'm using the number 2431 see it's very big so I make it small So I'm going to brush the first subject layer with a black color. You may need to adjust your angle of the brush. Right click, adjust the angle to what you want. You may need to go on, go on playing with your angles of the brushes and remember it's going to be different on each image. Okay, now you select the black color, don't select the picture but select the black color liquify masking icon and make sure your foreground is white and again you need to do the same thing.
I'll just go back to my liquefier to increase the liquefier a little bit more. Okay, now I'll come back to my masking. Just make sure if you select the white color mask, make sure your foreground is black. And you can adjust the brush angle. And take the black one again, foreground white. Sometimes you may need to fine tune the liquefy. So it doesn't look too unnatural. So here you go, the dispersion effect is ready. Please feel free and contact me and message me in the comment section for any further updates or anything you need. Thank you and see you for the next tutorial.